Hello everyone, it's me ASMR welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorial and today I'll show you how to retouch this type of face. So if I zoom it in, you are getting like that, uh, like uh, skin tone, dark skin tone. And uh, I'll show you how to edit like uh, smooth skin or retouch and high end uh, retouch, beauty retouch, whatever you can tell. So if you are new in my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications. At first, I'll make copy by pressing Ctrl J and then I'll go to the filter and the portraiture filter this portraiture filter is a plugin of the photoshop if if you want to get the download link please check out my video description and uh, i have another detailed video tutorial about the portraiture so here is the portion the fine medium and threshold so i'll make the threshold like that if i make it zoom so you will watch the process what is happening up in here so here so the setting will be like that fine 20 and uh, medium like that and large i'll make it like that so that's good and the auto detect that is on and here if you just get the drop per you can add or you can just adjust the color that's fine so that's fine in the before one window and the after one window here the sharpening amount i'm just made it like this a little bit and the soften i made it a little bit soften and the warm if you need you can add some warm like that yeah like this that's good and here is the tint options you can just adjust the face color so if you need you can change the face color or here is the brightness options if you you can just adjust the brightness and contrast and other things so one thing i'll make it like this yeah that's fine so tint i'll make the tint like that's good and hit the ok button so it will give you the output yeah the before one and after one and now again press ctrl j and then i'll go to the filter again and the photo toolbox and skin finer this one is another plugins and i have another video detail about the skin finer and uh, all the process in detail so if you want to get the tutorial link please check out my video description from here i'll adjust the color of the face yeah that's fine and the uh, saturation that's good and the brightness i'll make the brightness a little bit up and contrast you can make the contrast like this and the shadow you need the shadow yeah that's fine and the highlight yeah that's fine so the setting will be like that and hit the ok button so you'll get another change of that so after that i'll add uh, like a camera raw settings so i'll select these two things make it group and make it match after that go to the filter and camera raw filter camera raw filter is a plugins of the photoshop creative cloud version by default or uh, if you are the user of the cs version you have to download it manually and install it manually i'll give the link in my video description so from here i'll adjust the light or skin color and other stuffs so at first i'll go to the hsl panel that is the hue saturation and luminance so saturation of the rate i'll decrease so like that and the orange i'll decrease the orange color a little bit and luminance i'll increase the luminance and luminance i'll increase as well so here are the other things here is the camera calibration and adjust the color of the face which is like that and i'll make it a little bit up of the primary red color and green color it will be like that and the primary blue color i'll make it a little bit red red type so increase the saturation a little bit and the hue a little bit that's fine and the sharpening amount of sharpening i'll increase and the luminance of noise reduction i'll increase so it will neutralize and now the basic panels i'll de-highlight this one and add some shadow give some blacks yeah a little bit minus 13 is good and whites i'll decrease the whites so from here fx panel i'll add some dehaze portion that's good 
so here here is the options that is the tone curve go to the blue tone curve and adjust the blue tone curve like that yeah that's good and the red red tone curve i'll make it like this and the rgb yeah i'll make it like this so it's natural and hit the ok button so it will take time to load it up and give you the output so let's see the before one was like that and after one you're getting like that so now time for add something uh, in a lips and other stuffs so take a new blank layer and go to the color palette and pick a color like like a red type color and hit the ok button and then go to the brush tool and minimize the brush size by pressing the third bracket opening and now brush the lips like that so brush carefully when you are brushing it over so don't brush it over the like uh, outside of the lips so otherwise it will be spoiled so here i'll add some customized shape that's fine that's good and go to the adjustment layer and make it soft light so and press ctrl j and i'll make it uh, like overlay type and decrease the opacity so two layers and that's good but i need to change the hue and that is uh, i'll select these two things make it match after that go to the adjustment and here is the hue saturations so i'll decrease the hue so mask it decrease the hue before that you have to make the blending mode soft light and then change the hue like your saturation you have to mask it out and it will apply on these lips portion as well only in a lips portion so change the color of the lips yeah that's natural i think that's good so let's see the before one and after one so before one was like that and after one you are getting like that so now i'll go to the adjustment layer and levels from here i'll adjust the lights and as other stuffs so that's, that's good and go to the adjustment layer again and go to the color balance from here i'll balance the color so the color will be like that a little bit wormy and like a little bit red type and that's good and here the highlight i'll adjust the highlight so here when you are uh, just uh, adding the light or correction the lights you have to make it uh, like uh, that so here is the mid tones so mid tone will be like this so you can make it zoom it out and it will help you out to make it properly so here is the mid tone so adjust the mid tone and yeah that's good so that's fine before one was like that and after one you're getting like that so select these three things make it group and make it merge and then go to the filter and nick collection and color effects pro nick collection is another plugins of the photoshop and if you want to get the download link please check out my video description so this one a bunch of uh, the pieces and other stuffs and it will help you out to make the finalized image or give some effects in your image from here i'm using the cross processing and here are lots of filters or methods you can add one of them and it will make your photographs more amazing so i'll use l02 and hit the ok button so it will take time to load it up and apply this one in your photo and give you the final output so it's taking time yeah that's fine and finally i'll adjust the light go to the brightness and contrast options and delight de-highlight this one a little bit and then i'll go to the adjustment layer and from here the exposure from here i'll adjust the exposure of the face so that's good don't give the offset so it will be like minus 0.12 that's good and here 0.85 or 95 is good so now this one let's see the before one and after one and now go to the adjustment layer again and go to the levels from here i'll correction the lights actually like that 
and I'll make it like that so it will be like this so you are getting a uh, image which is like uh, polished the before one non polished image and sweated uh, face and like a uh, rough face and you are getting like this face so go to the adjustment again and go to the like a uh, gradient from here adjustment and take the this one and make it to radial make it reverse and make the angle zero degree and scale 350 and angle will be zero degree and the dither as well so you are getting like that that's good and go to the adjustment layer again and go to the solid color and i'll add a solid color for the um, tone and make it soft light or overlay soft light is good and now i'll pick up a color which is make the photo more realistic so this one uh, this one a little bit too warmy that will be fine so this one is good and find out the proper color so that's good so now let's see the before one was like that and after one you are getting like that so hope that you learn a lot from this video and uh, please thumbs up and share with your friend and until the next video i am signing out today don't forget to subscribe my channel and bye bye